So we have sort of one or two bits of news on the Game of Thrones fandom front. I will deal with the first one relatively quickly, but it is relevant to the second story. So there's been a lot of panic that Game of Thrones has gone, quote, woke. And by woke, they mean there's going to be less nudity and less violence. But some of the previews are in and they are reassuring that don't worry. It may be slightly less than before, but there's still going to be tons of sex, tons of gore. Don't worry. It's going to be there. But maybe they're going to have, quote, women more prominent. That's a problem. We'll have to wait and see if that screwed up the storylines. But all this kind of panic that they've totally gone PG-13 or whatever, don't worry. It's still going to be very R-rated or NC-17. I know I have some British subscribers, and I know they have a different rating system. But don't worry. It is, quote, for adults. So don't panic. And then we get into the second bit of news where someone out of nowhere just attacked Daenerys and Amelia Clark. And they did attack her. They attacked the actress directly, calling her ugly, short, and dumpy. And you're like, what? What is happening? So some Australian moron out of nowhere just decided in front of the fans to attack Amelia Clark. And the whole show really is just beyond stupid and silly. Saying, who's this weirdo, shorty, dumpy girl who walks into the fire? Who's that all about? What's all this about? I know now the defense was he was trying to make a joke. He was just joking. He didn't mean anything offensive or sexist or whatever. But even if we go the non-sexist route, it just felt like in very poor taste because we now know that Amelia was suffering incredibly. She was under a lot of pressure in the early seasons. And again, I'm sort of more of a moderate Daenerys fan. I'm not obsessed with Danny or even with Amelia Clark, but I think she gave a good performance. Maybe you think she's pretty. Maybe you don't think she's pretty. She's not the first person, I think, when I think of a beautiful British woman. I think more of Sienna Miller or Kate Beckinsale or Lily James. That's me. That's my taste. People have different tastes on these things. Keira Knightley. Go on. We could go on forever what we think is attractive to, quote, the British public or the American public. But I think most people would say she's attractive. Maybe she is, quote, short. Well, so what? Why would that matter? I don't know. I also think it's really funny that this person in particular is not that good looking. So you're criticizing her looks and you're not exactly, what do we call it, People Magazine's Sexiest Man Alive. That's kind of thin ground to attack someone else when you're going to do that kind of stuff. Now, I'm usually sort of myself suspicious of political correctness. And in women or adults, they can take harsh humor. If you don't like it, well, it's not going to last forever. It's just a joke. But if this was a joke... This person really is not qualified to do jokes. I actually tried to do comedy myself, and that didn't make a whole lot of sense. Again, let's not panic. Amelia Clark is very rich. She's very successful. She's moved on from Game of Thrones. She doesn't want to have any more to do with it. She thinks she did a good job. And I do agree, for the most part, with what other people were saying, that she was kind of victimized by Benioff and Weiss and sort of manipulated and deceived. I don't agree, that, however, that she's a pure victim. I do think she made choices. She signed the contracts. She got paid very well. But I do think they did deceive her. So overall, I feel more sorry for her than, you know, vindictive. I don't feel like she destroyed the show. I just felt she did what she was told and she was misguided. And they told her it would be this story, but really it was another story. And it just created a big backlash. But I don't see her as quote, a villain in this story. So I don't know who he's appealing to. Is he appealing to people who hated season eight? Well, people who hated season eight and they did hate what was done with Daenerys and some people may hate Daenerys now herself but Emilia Clarke the performer I don't think people hate I mean probably the only thing that was kind of really screwy is she didn't notice the Starbucks coffee and to be fair she's not necessarily to blame for that but it is kind of weird she didn't notice that she said on record like she didn't do that it was just there but there was definitely a lot of laziness with season eight performers people just showed up with water bottles and didn't put them away that was another big thing uh, so I'm kind of mixed on what we should think of the performers. So, because some of them even embrace the woke label. As crazy as that sounds, Sansa embraced, I am woke now. And what does she mean by that? I'm woke because I'm a political leader and I'm very intelligent and the other men are very violent and they're very stupid. I'm not, I'm not even making this up. She actually said these things. So I think the wisest route with these kinds of things is we judge the performers first on their performance and what the characters are doing. And then we get into the behind the scenes drama. And of course, Game of Thrones has lots of behind the scenes drama. So it's tempting to focus on that. But 
my focus is mainly on the stories, though sometimes we have to get into the personal lives, and I think it should be contextual. So, again, if you want to criticize these people or make fun of them, that's fine. I mean, we've all made fun of McQueen, made fun of Kit for saying McQueen like a jillion infinite times for no reason. That's fine. He's a big boy. I know he suffers from alcoholism, but again, when you do a public performance, you have to put up with some criticism. But attacking Amelia Clark on her looks, huh? Well, I don't know. And she's definitely on record. She was very uncomfortable doing the nude scenes, which I can sympathize. I mean, you know, she was naked quite a lot. I understand all that. But I hope the new show, if it's for artistic reasons, if they pull back on the nudity, that's fine. But if they're just doing it to please a political agenda, I don't think that's a good idea. But from all I'm getting, don't worry, it's going to maintain more or less the same tone. There may be, quote, a little bit less here and there, but it's going to maintain the same level of quality as well as the same level of what do we call it graphic nature to the stories no need to panic with amelia i'm sure she's fine but it is pretty ridiculous that some people think oh yeah you're gonna score easy points attacking daenerys i'm like why why would attacking the actress be a good thing i, I don't know who who is this joke for who is going to be pleased by this joke who's going to get a big chuckle out of it I, I don't understand i mean we can make fun of dragon tits that's true that's a nice little joke but that's a joke about the whole overall show not a particular performer so it's just a weird joke. Probably shouldn't have been said. This guy's really stupid and ugly, so I have no idea what he's up. No idea at all.